What's up, everybody? I am here at Sirius Radio Channel. Say, hey, boo. Hi. Uh, hey. <laughs> we at Sirius Radio, girl. Come up here at the Sirius Radio Station, girl. I'm down here doing me old nasty interview. And my lady in red, I got on my slides, though. I got my slides on. I had to be comfortable. You know, Miss Mary in the back. Look. Look. Look, y'all. Look. <laughs> Done ran into the kid here. Miami fucking day count. Mm -hmm. You ready for the day, babe? I am ready for the day. You look beautiful. Thank you. So mm -hmm. I got to meet you finally. Why you ain't come to the show, girl? Huh? Because I was locked up working on this goddamn TV show all motherfucking night. Okay, night. well listen. We're we'll still gonna link up. We're gonna link up, yes, yes. All right, y'all. So, so tune in. What what's the station? Tell us the station. Is it serious like someone on the Clay Kane show? Right Clay Kane show, yes. We have to do black I think it's 124. Yeah, 120 something. Yeah. Tomorrow's a birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Hey. To ya. There you go. Happy birthday. On key and everything. To ya. <laughs> Come on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, listen. All right, so Black Trivia Quiz. Here's how we're going to do it. I'll read you a question. You write down your answer. And only when I call on you, you'll, you'll show me your answer. Whoever has the most points. Wins the prize. Wait a minute. So, are we doing this black trivia stuff because I'm black? You, you, well, you know, something like that. <laughs> why we, so, Why you couldn't test me on white trivia? Because <laughs> white trivia is everywhere. Everywhere, right? So, you want, so, so now you got to go. You want me to go back to my roots. Huh? Back to your roots. You want to know how black I am. Exactly. My behold, let me pull my panties off so they can really know how black I am. <laughs> Between you and Kid Fury, see how black y'all are. Okay, All right. First time a meeting, man. Really? Yeah. I, I would think y'all were both from Miami. I, th I think y'all would know. Well, I, he, I'm a little bit older than him. How old are you? How old are you, babe? Thirty-one. Oh yeah, I'm a lot of it. <laughs> I'm forty-two. What? Oh wow. Oh, I'll be I'll be forty-two tomorrow. Baby, listen, hey, we we special. I, I try moisturize. You in the, Are you? Are, what, can I ask a black question? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? What? what you mean? Well, why are you shaking your hand? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? It's the radio. No one can see your handshake. What do you mean? Well, that's why I just wanted you to see. They ain't the motherfuckers they had to see it. Are you bisexual or are you all the way on one side? I'm all the way on one side. Oh, you a mattress. So you talk about it. <laughs> I am not talking about those. Let's go on this trivia. That is not Christ life. Oh, all you right. talk about <laughs> All right, listen. Where, where's my girl? Where's my girl, Alexa? Where, right where, my other girl, Alexa. Oh, there she at. Okay, Alexa, one of our uh, one of our good people. Who listen, are, uh, Alexa hey. was teaching me some 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 Dominican things out there. She's and Dominicano, yes. Dominican. Yes, yes. She says she's a Munoz. And, and she's a yeah, yeah. La de los Santos. <laughs> <laughs> she's got it. She's got it. All right. So listen. Again, I'm gonna read you a question. You're going to write down. The questions start really easy, then they get harder as we go along. Oh, that's how dicks work. They, they start they off work. easy, then they get hard. You got it. You got it. It's always been reverse for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. So, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. first, first question. What are the two highest cards in spades? Specifically, name the cards. What are the two highest cards in spades? Y'all from Miami, Florida. I expect you to know this. Think about it. Yeah, I'm starting with the good old, you know, around the way question. The two highest cards in spades. Think about it. All right? All right. So let's start with co host of The Read, writer, comedian, Kid Fury. Okay. You want to play spade? No, sure. I said the spade. The spade and two. I'm sorry, kid. But you have time. You have time to rise up singing. T.S. Madison, I think you know. I think T.S. Madison knows. Queen and Joker. T.S. Madison. Big Joker. Big Joker. and Little Joker. Duh. But I just... I said, I said the Joker. Uh-uh. Big Joker, Little Joker. Big but Joker. I still get some half a point because I put the Joker down here. I just feel like she, <laughs> she at least I'm sorry. I she get a half a point. You can't point. play spades? Mm -mm. No. Oh, Lord. I was too busy <laughs> ball juggling, honey. Y'all know my career before I got involved in this stuff All right. over here. What she meant was the Queen's Joker. The right. Queen's Joker. All right, Queen Supreme. I'm so, but then, okay, <laughs> zero to zero. All right, it's cool. It's all right. It's all right. It's good. Girl, right. okay, I'm gonna turn. It's we, tied now. It's all right. tied. All right, so second question. Mm -hmm. In the TV show Martin, what was the name 
of Shanene's hair salon. And the TV show Martin, what was the name of Shanene's hair salon? We're starting off easy and then we're going hard. Hashtag me, hashtag black trivia quiz. All right, let's start with T.S. Madison. Gina. <laughs> what is going on? Why y'all asking me these hard questions? <laughs> I'm sorry. We're getting feedback. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Come on, Gina. You got time. Kid Fury. Shanene Shonuff. Shanene Shonuff hair salon. All right. You knew that, man. For real. I just love my aunt. That's all. That's the only reason. But I love your aunt more than the girl. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. I love the Come on, too. Gina. All right. We got time. We got time. So we have Kid Fury 1. T.S. Madison 0. <laughs> All right, next question. Who was the first black woman chosen as Miss America? Who was the first black woman chosen as Miss America? A little bit of history. Think about it. Think about it. All right, we'll start with T.S. Madison, Vanessa Williams. Good job, Kid Fury. Vanessa Williams, good job. Ask me anything about some lipstick, I can tell you. That's right. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa Williams was famously dethroned as Miss America. And can I write why? For her, her naked pictures. Oh, for extra point, for extra point. Yeah, well, not extra point, but yeah. it's, what, it, it's one of the great comebacks in pop culture history, because who's the most famous Miss America there is? And you said, for, for eating catnip. <laughs> not Vanessa Williams. You didn't see the spread in the magazine? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. You did? I've, I've heard, like, it, it's been pulled. You can't even find it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different episode of the Play Game Show. I'll tell you that. This is the best day ever. I love T.S. Madison. All right. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, now, next question. You all ready? Yes. We have Kit Fury 2, T.S. Madison 1. Mm-hmm. I want y'all to listen to this clip that I'm about to play. This is an iconic, legendary singer. Listen to this clip and tell us who the artist is. Play it. Kid Fury 2, T.S. Madison 1. Listen to that calcified voice, pre-calcified. <laughs> what is her name? All right. Can I tell my story? <laughs> let, Can I tell my story? Wait, let, let, let's start with Kid Fury. Okay. Let's start with well, Nick, you know, I don't know. The, I don't, you don't know. I'll tell your story. You don't know, Kid. Get, all right, let's start with go to T.S. Madison. Anna James. That's Tina Turner in 1964. Oh, see. Now both of them sounded alike. Well, that was an Etta James song called All I Could Do Was Cry. That's what I was thinking. I <laughs> heard. There you go. <laughs> Church bells ringing. And I heard. <laughs> a choir. A little tone. Singing. I'm a little hurt y'all didn't get Tina Turner, though. What you listen? I feel like that was a trick question. It was. You knew I knew that was Etta James, and nobody, you know, if you'd have said. Okay, I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now this this next question, y'all have the opportunity to get five points. Oh, all right. So you could. So we have Kid Fury two, T. S. Madison more. In the ballroom scene, which is a subculture of Black and Latin LGBT people who compete in fashion, dance, and beauty, there is a dance called voguing, which has been appropriated by many mainstream pop stars. There are five elements of vogue. Name them. And you get a point for each name. Oh, Jesus. Name the five oh, elements Lord. of Vogue. This is a part of history. These black and Latin folks created this dance form, and it's been appropriated and remixed by people who can't even catch the beat. You all should know about the subculture of the ballroom scene. There's five elements of Vogue. You, know, you got to have rhythm, too. That's one of the elements. This is actually a classic ballroom song. It's called Body. You all know it? 
folks out there, they might know it. All right, five elements of old. The five elements of old. Let's start with uh, T.S. Madison. Five points possible. T.S. Madison one, Kid Fury two. Let's make it happen. <laughs> T.S. Madison says, hands, runway, face, body. One point for T.S. Madison. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Fury. Let's see what Kid Fury has. I put runway slash catwalk. Okay, catwalk. Hands. Hands. Duck walk. Hands. Duck walk. Face dip. Face no. Dip spins and dips. Yes. So four. All you missed was, was four performance. Look, I did that. One, two, three, four. That's good. So it's hand, so the five elements of both. Hands, catwalk, duck walk, spins and dips. That's just one. And floor performance. Can I tell y'all? Can I tell y'all that I'm a heterosexual, transsexual, right. and I don't know too much about that gay stuff. Well, no, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Even though it's legendary, I kind of I'm learning. Like right along with the heterosexual people that pose is is coming out well, that, teaching. That affects show pose, yeah. I'm learning with them because I'm from Miami. Yeah. Both of us from from Miami. Yeah. And this is serious radio, so we can be real candid. We can be. Mm -hmm. We can be. They ain't with that gay shit in <laughs> We went without, you seen Queens walk them doing this. You was going to get whooped. You going to get your ass whooped. <laughs> we really didn't have, like, we didn't I, have. I haven't really seen many ball events and things like that growing up in my Well, then, then we learned something today. Yeah. Because these, these artists are, are appropriating. They're well, you know, it. Come on, Vogue. Let your body, you know. They, well, they, Madonna right. definitely was the was mm -hmm. one of the first to grab it, snatch and grab it. Huh? <laughs> A lot of them do it. Yeah. All right, so we learned something. All right, next question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, where are we at? Okay, we get We in the middle. We in the middle. All right. <laughs> We got Kid Fury, six, T.S. Madison, four. I got four points? I, I, I believe in you, T.S. Madison. I got four points? Two. Oh, oh, I, I said four. Forgive me. I meant to say two. I'm messing up. Now, see, that was shady. All right, was I didn't mean to do that. that he got me excited and then dropped. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, now, here we go. In the 61 years of the Grammys, only two black women have won Song of the Year, which is awarded to the composers not the performers. Now, these are popular artists. You, you all know these artists. You get a point for the winner and the song title. Name it. Name the two black women at the Grammys who have won Song of the Year. Name the artist and the name of the song. These are, these are folks we all know. Come on now. Think about it. Two black women only in 61 years have one song of the year. That is a damn shame. That is a damn shame. All right. <laughs> Let's start with. I'll go. Cause shit, I just I you know. But... Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Dolly Parton. She ain't black. I'm Dolly Parton ain't black. The song. <laughs> no, what I was oh, saying was I always, always love, love you. you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, T.S. I man. ain't black. <laughs> Let's go to Kid Fury. I wrote uh, Beyonce, All of Them, and Katrina, The Baddest Bitch. You think The Baddest Bitch won Song of the Year? Yes! <laughs> well, you're, I wrote my suggestion. Well, you wrote Beyonce. That's correct, yeah. but it was single ladies. Yeah, it was single ladies. Wait a minute, hold on. So Beyonce, I don't... Beyonce, <laughs> Beyonce won for single ladies in 2010. Yeah. In 61 years, they ain't gave Whitney Houston nothing. Alicia Keys won for Fallen in for 2002. Fallen, yeah. They ain't gave Whitney Houston nothing for I Will Always Love You. Well, that did win, but not for Song of the not Year. Not for Song of the Year. Mm. No, but the composer was Dolly Parton, right? No, no. No, that, it wasn't. That didn't win. Yeah. That's crazy, 61 years, that's sad. This is why I don't watch the Grammys now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. I didn't care if she said that shit to the microphone. Because I don't play about my Whitney Houston. I love it. Whitney Houston made things possible for Beyonce to get that award. That's true. That's how y'all going to gonna treat my Whitney Houston like that? Give me a point for that. The Not greatest, that. The greatest love of all. All right. A few more questions left. <laughs> so we have... Kid Fury 7 and T.S. Madison 2. T.S., I believe in you. Come on, I believe. I believe. You can shoot it off. You can do it. Teach them well. All right. Lead the way. Next That's question. That's a cigarette with me. That's a cigarette with <laughs> Oh, it's only a cigarette. All right, next question. Who invented the hot comb? Oh, shit. Who invented the hot comb? Little black. She was also the first black woman millionaire. 
Oh, we're going to go back to the hot comb. Little hint there. Who invented the hot comb? <laughs> you know, using on the hair. You got to make the hair look good back in the day. Who invented it? Who invented it? All right, let's start with Kid Fury. He's oh, writing no. a lot. <laughs> Kid Fury is writing a full set. Oh, Kid no. Fury said, my good auntie, Madam C.J. Walker. Hey! Yes! I love it, love it. And T.S. <laughs> Madison says, Aunt Jemima or Pat McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. T.S. Black Jesus in these pictures. Oh, my God. 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 Pat McGrath. Yeah. Hey, she's a makeup artist. She's a makeup artist. Oh, Adam C.J. Walker invented the oh, <laughs> which is part of the reason you have that beautiful hair now. Baby, this came from some Chinese lady in India. <laughs> Wait, Chinese, Chinese lady in India? India? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. They imported her from China and put her in it's India true. and grew her hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get... I, I still believe in you, too. <laughs> yeah, I know, baby. I feel like that answer was... But I was, I was already scared really. when y'all start asking me about these black trivia stuff. I'm like, girl... <laughs> All right, okay, all right. A few more questions left. Come on, Clay Kane. At the Stone Bowl in 1969, who famously threw a shot glass in the mirror in a, in a torch bar and screamed, quote, I got my civil rights. She's often forgotten in black history. She threw a shot glass in the mirror and said, I got my civil rights which in many ways created the LGBT movement started by a black trans mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to T.S. Madison. Marsha P. Jones. Okay. It's Marsha P. Johnson as Kid Fury has it. But that's, that's good. That's good. It's somewhere in them Jones, Johnson, she it's black. Somewhere. Hello. <laughs> She black. Okay. All right. Either she's a Jones or a Johnson. Yeah. She black. Are you on the soundboard over there? That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. She's doing it. Over here. It's again. All right. So, second to the last question. Who was the architect of the 1963 March on Washington? <laughs> Who was the architect of the 1963... A black gay man. Who was the architect of the 1963 March on Washington? Yes, yes, yes. Can we yeah. just answer for <laughs> one of the most important throughout Can history. We answer All right, think about it, process it. Process it. Let's go to T.S. Madison. James Brown Rainbow. <laughs> Kid Fury Lee Daniels. Oh my God. Bayard Rustin. Yeah. He was Dr. Martin Luther King's right hand man. Right man. Come on, y'all. You talking about the gay one? Yeah, that was having the trays in the back room. In the parks. In the parks. Yeah, he was all having right. all them. Boy. You should have known this. All right. I should have known. All right, last question. This is what we kind of call our highly melanated question, but it's not really what we just oh. really called our last question. It's real, dog. And and y'all y'all can get y'all can get six points. Mm. So T.S. Madison, you can take this. Okay, come on, let me take it. All right. <laughs> You're both Beyonce fans, right? <laughs> I've heard of her. She okay. Like Somewhere in Bangladesh, you heard of her. Yeah. Bangladesh, I know about yeah. that. Exactly. Beyonce has had six number one hits as a lead artist, a lead solo artist <laughs> on the Billboard Hot 100. <clears throat> name them. You get a point for each song that you name. Every number one song? She's had six number six. one hits as a lead solo artist in the Billboard Hot 100. Okay. So name it. This is the hardest question? Well, not. Yeah, for me. <laughs> we got Kid Fury 9. Uh... And T.S. Madison 3. Alexa, can you get your phone so we can record uh, Kid Fury or one of them winning the prize? <laughs> so I can put it on my IG. <laughs> one of them. One of them. Whoever wins is put one. it on. Oh, Alexa can do it. Both both y'all can do it. Oh, both Alexa. Right. Yeah, but no, both y'all can do it because you can send it to me. You can send it to me. Don't give me the little technical stuff in the background, y'all. A little different black trivia quiz. All right. So six. <laughs> let's start with uh, let's start with T.S. Alexa, Alexa Munoz. She can get it too. Get get both of them. 
Let's start with T.S. Madison again. Beyonce Knowles, you're all a big fans of her. She's had six number one hits as a lead solo artist on Billboard Hot 100. Name and you get a point. You get a point for each one. Uh, single ladies, drunk in love, 7-Eleven. No, drunk in love, I said no. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. All right. Mm -mm. all right. You're a big Beyonce fan. Yeah, but I still love uh, fingers as well. Single ladies. Crazy in Love, Deja Vu, mm -mm. Girls, no, what? Formation, no. it was. Uh, uh, Irreplaceable mm -hmm. in 2006, you know. Single Ladies in 2008, it was Crazy in Love in 2003, yeah. Baby Boy in 2003, and Check on It in 2006, it and most recently, stuff. Perfect. Originally from Ed Sheeran. From the Ed Sheeran. In song. 2017. Because he got it with Ed Sheeran. That said, the winner of our Black <laughs> Trivia Quiz with a total of 12 points is Kid Fury. Yeah! And, and Kid Fury, being that you won Black Trivia Quiz, I have for you. Just for me. Just for me. No lie conditioning cream relaxer kit. Yeah! Just for me. J U S T F O R M E. Give give your speech to the camera. Go ahead, look at that camera. Give your speech. Show show him your prize. Go ahead, Kid Fury. I'm so honored to receive uh, this just for me kit. I promise to use it so well. Uh, my beard and my eyebrows and my pubic hair. Uh, this means a lot. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, this is the Clay King Show. We're going to come back and talk some more with T.S. Madison and Kid Fury. Be right back. Be right back. <laughs> My black card must really be great. Going to. You got it? Great, great. Did you see? Thing. You know they told me to do this. I was on the game show, on RuPaul game show. Yes, yes, I saw that. And they told me to do all the answers wrong. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> was that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Oh, Kevin Graham oh, took me out. Oh, but they, you know, I'm used to going on the game show. They say Madison answer all the questions wrong. I thought, like, okay. You know, that's simple because I really don't know. Because you really don't know. Thank you, thank you. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. Now that was funny. I'm gonna be, I want to listen to this again. We're, we're gonna, uh, we'll get like, we'll send you the video. And okay, okay. We'll be allowed. That was a lot. Okay. I knew it'd be great. We normally have really serious folks. Girl, when I tell you, you was tearing me up with your eyes. You was like, bitch, you don't know this. I'm going to come over there and whoop your ass. No, I didn't do good the first time I did it either. I get it. I'm not good at touch taking period, but... It girl. was something. Yeah, did something. Did something. something, my like, girl. Come on now. Y'all stop asking that Beyonce. Y'all know on team, Rihanna. <laughs> Are you two? Well, I like them both. Did they oh. people heard me say that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am Beyonce, girl. <laughs> Baby, I'm about to be blue and all them. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mouth off of blue. And the twins, really. What, madam? Rumi. Sir. Oh. And... <laughs> Rumi is... Oh, my God. I'm good. Sir. I'm calling for this. All right, so listen. Yeah, you can take it. I mean, if you want to. There will not I'll, be any Beyonce it. basher in here. <laughs> We've given out bamboo earrings. Oh, yeah, door knockers. We're giving, yeah, we're giving, we're giving, we're giving out, though, we're getting out Tussie. Yes. Curl. Yes. Where the hell did you find Tussie at? I just ordered it online. Either. Amazon. You know, Amazon yeah, got Amazon everything. Got it. But, T.S., we're going to talk about your event in Philly tomorrow. Okay. We'll talk about We're going to talk about my event in Philly. We got to talk about my event we had here in New York City. Listen. Okay. We'll do we was all. over there in the boogie down Bronx. Doing it. Doing it. Making it happen. You know what I'm saying? The ceiling, the ceiling was leaking uh, like a motherfucker in there. Huh? <laughs> right. The they didn't want to turn the air conditition on because girl, they were scared it was going to flush through the pipe. We was in the hood. Just the people came out of with me. We had a good time. Chicken wings was dry. Macaroni cheese ain't have no salt in it, but everybody was full. Not me. The drink was twenty dollars. Ain't had nothing to do with it. That's New York City. I'm gonna do an ad after I finish the music to just just know. Oh. 
Welcome back to the Clay Kane Show on Sirius XM Urban View Channel 126. That is Jump by Criss Cross on this day in 1992. It was the number one song in the country. Let me say this before we go back to our guests. You know it's, it's already April and time has a habit of getting away from you. But if you have a mortgage, kids, or anyone depending on your income, you're going to have to spend some of that precious time getting life insurance. If you need life insurance but you don't want to spend a lot of time comparing it, you should give Policy Genius a try. Policy Genius is the easy way to buy life insurance online. In just two minutes, you can compare quotes from, from top insurers and find your best price. Once you apply, the Policy Genius team will handle all the paperwork and red tape. No commissions, no hidden fees, just more time saved for you. And Policy Genius doesn't just make life insurance easy, they also make it easy to find the right home insurance, auto insurance, or disability insurance. They're your one-stop shop for, for financial protection. So if you need life insurance but you're short on time, head to policygenius.com and compare quotes. Policy Genius, it's easy, it saves you money, and not to belabor the point, but it's fast. Policy Genius, spend less time comparing life insurance and more time doing literally anything else. All right, T.S. Madison and Kid Fury here. Thank y'all for, that was so much fun. Thank y'all for doing that. It's all a good fun. You know? I'm, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you, you, you gonna be even I'm so embarrassed. I feel like what? What? I didn't know all these things about Beyonce, the queen of all things. Well, you know, <laughs> you, you know, we, we, it's, it's, a, it's about learning. It's about learning. Forget but, the Pat McGraw. I'm talking about Beyonce. I, listen, you, you, you learn. You, you, you all evolve and grow. Now, T.S. Madison, mm -hmm. you're, you're kind of on a, a, a bit of a tour. You're mm -hmm. gonna have an event in Philadelphia tomorrow, yeah, right? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Black Philadelphia Pride. Black right? Philly Pride. Black Philly Pride. And then on um, Monday, a uh, Sunday, Monday, I'm having my own thing. Cause you know, I do my own thing. Yes, yes. Yes. I'm, a, I'm, a I'm an entrepreneur, and I do my own thing. <laughs> I, I have carved my own. And for those of you out there that are, that are listening that have no idea who T.S. Madison is, honey, get your fucking ass up. You're sleeping on the, on a rock, bitch. Wait, no way. <laughs> I, I am T.S. Madison, the D entertainer. Okay, D. Ain't no other transgender woman out there shaking it down like me. They may be doing what they doing, but they ain't doing it like I'm doing it. Okay. Right. So we were just here in New York City. This is what this is why I'm here on the Clay Kane show, the long, yes. the long, long Kane, Clay Kane show. And uh, we were here in the Bronx doing the Queen's Supreme Court show. Yes. Baby, we was over there in the we was in the Boogie Down Bronx. The, 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 the ceiling was leaking water. The seats was black with some ass group creases sitting off in it. Bitch, the drinks was twenty dollars. The macaroni and cheese was cheesy with yeah, no sweet, with no seasoning on it. The chicken wings was dry. Bitch, we had a good motherfucking time <laughs> because you know that's what T.S. Master do. So the Queen Supreme Court show is on tour. We come to every city, you know, come turn up, have a good time with people that are fans of the stuff online. You know, it, it, it's formerly me and someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voldemort. And um, <laughs> and on the show, you talk pop culture. You have some funny takes on pop culture, Listen, right? we talk pop culture. We talk everything. Yeah. We talk clothes. We talk, we read everything. Yes, if yes, you can, yes. if it can be written, it can be read. That's right. How can folks watch it, T.S. Madison? You can get online and visit me on thequeensupremecourt.com, or you can follow all of my social media, Instagram, T.S. Madison Hinton, T.S. Madison, ATL1. Just T.S. Madison. Put T.S. Madison in Google. You find it. You know they how to. You know it. how. To, you know how to hood folks say. Google's me. Yes. <laughs> Google's me. Clear yeah. Fury, you gonna be on my show too. Absolutely. Yes. I'm trying to like. I was trying to hopefully keep it well surprised. Oh, uh, don't surprise <laughs> these. Don't surprise these colors. I just can't wait. Don't surprise them. Wait. Let them know we gonna get on that show. We gonna shake this thing down by any style. You know, like uh, 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 what, 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 what Uncle Luke say. Ghetto style, DJ style, you know. There you go, two live crew. Two live crew. Listen, but if folks want to see T.S. Madison tomorrow in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. you can go to phillyblackpride.org mm -hmm. and get all the information. Check out T.S. Madison in Philly. And, and get my tickets on Eventbrite for the Queen's Supreme Court Live in Memphis, Tennessee. There you go. We got, we got. Yeah. April 28th and 29th. Oh, damn, you're going everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Memphis? Mm -hmm. I got some good training out there. Ah, you, what? Wow. I'm from Philly. I'm from West Philadelphia. Oh, I am. Oh. Kid Fury, uh, you, you're always grinding, always hustling. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I, listen, I'm on the train, right, coming coming to the, the studio, and there's a woman on the train with her, her iPhone listening to the read. Like literally, just just checking it out. Just, check, right, just checking it out. So for folks that know about the read, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't, but tell, tell them about the read. Uh, the read is something I just uh, started doing when I moved away from Miami. I came here with a couple hundred dollars. I didn't have anything else to do. I know I wanted to work in there. Mm -hmm. Someone approached me about 
uh, starting a podcast. I didn't really know anything about them at the time, but I said, sure, I'm broke. I don't really have any other <laughs> ideas or plans, whatever. <laughs> so me and my homegirl, Crystal, started doing it together and just talking shit. And eventually things got kind of political after Trayvon Martin died. Yeah. Because he was from South Florida. Right. Um, his brother, I mean, he was the same age as my brother. So, you know, now it's just become this, Money making it's, machine. I mean, if you want to call it that, it, it's just me and my homegirl talking shit. Making money. Calling people out. And making, making money. money yeah. yeah. But you've expanded. You were in Dear White People. I mean, you're, you're a writer. I mean, you've. <laughs> yeah, you, you've, you've expanded. <laughs> aren't you working on a show now with Lena yeah, Waithe? Yeah, I'm writing a show uh, for HBO right now with uh, Lena Waithe as the producer. So that should be interesting. I actually just uh, finished. Uh, a very large and major chapter of that process, so hopefully it'll be uh, moving along quickly. Can you say what it's about? Yeah, it's about my experience moving to New York and being someone who's not used to this weather, these <laughs> loud ass niggas, right. the, these streets that smell like urine every single day. These big ass rats. Uh, they were big, yeah. Yes, yes. Bitch. <laughs> you I know, never even now listen, we ain't gonna, rat we ain't gonna act like we ain't got no, no mice in my head. Right, okay. These motherfuckers uh. is dogs walking around. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rottweiler and pit bull rats. Put these bitches on the leash. Put these bitches on the leash. They own the streets. They own the. They have to, they'll look at you like, come on. Feel like you wanna go? Like, they'll look at you. They're, so, so yeah, the show's kind of based on on, <laughs> on that HBO. Sort of hey, I'm Ain't that big? And Look at you, black and gay, and figuring out what that means. Well, Lena Waithe, she really spreads the love too. Mm-hmm. Like it's not just about her; she really spreads the love. So yeah. you got it. You got to love Lena. You know, T.S. Madison, I, lo- I like your story. It's really hot that you uh, you were in the uh, adult entertainment industry, mm-hmm. right? Yes, I was. And you managed to expand that like to like a whole business. How did you How did you reinvent yourself in well, that way? Well, I reinvented myself by you know using the power of social media. Mm. Like social media is a very 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 business lucrative mm. tool. Business, yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, and you can use it. A lot of people use it just to show off their titties and body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna sell a product. Mm. You got twenty dollars. <laughs> Two ten. Plus, you got titties and body. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> got but I've always been, you know, very business savvy and very smart. You know, when it came when it come down to stuff like that. I know I was born under the goddess Aphrodite. I'm a Libra, mm-hmm. so I've I have a lot of sexual energy mm-hmm. attached to me. And you know, unfortunately, I got wrapped up into. And I do say unfortunately because, you know, I don't I don't encourage girls to get wrapped up into the sex industry or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. because you become so wise. Mm-hmm. Not that it taints you. Right. But because it gives you it takes away your what is the word I want to call it? Your vulnerability. Your innocence? Your innocence. It takes uh-huh. away sometimes we need to be vulnerable to certain things. It takes it away. Wow. I know a man when I see him. Mm-hmm. I don't trust a nigga. Mm-hmm. I don't trust people in business. I, it's just like things. This is the, that that chapter of my life taught me so much stuff. Right. Ups and downs. I, listen, it was a it was a bad part of something that I that I that blossomed into something great for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm not ashamed of it. Mm-hmm. I openly talk about it. It's where I was. It ain't where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. You know. And every just like your story was, you came here with two dollars and you you were broke. My story was, I came. From Miami with nothing. My mother's sitting right here to tell you. I, yes, she I, is. I, I Your mother's here supporting. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I moved to Atlanta with a suitcase. I didn't have anywhere to live. I didn't have any money. I didn't have nothing. I was just silicone poison. Mm. So I, I had a lot of things going on in my life, you know, before. See, people see me now like they see me on the road. They see me this. They see I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have any idea mm. how I was drugged through the mud in life. So, you know, I'm going to always talk about my story and always talk about where I was, you know, always remind people of it's not where you start, honey, it's where you finish. Mm. I know that's right. Any, any, anybody can relate to that. Anybody. No matter who, no matter straight, gay, trans, whatever, we mm-hmm. can all relate to that. T.S. Madison, give folks your social media, how they can follow you and support you and all that good stuff. Hi guys, it's me, T.S. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> I am on Instagram at the real T.S. Madison. I'm on Twitter at T.S. Madison ATL1. I'm on Facebook at T.S. Madison Hinton. And if you are a person that's sitting in front of your computer right now, Google me, bitch, okay? Google. Give <laughs> Fury, give folks your social media, they can support you and your work. 
K I D F U R Y. You can Google as well. Try I don't know links and stuff. <laughs> or you don't have to. It's mm-hmm. whatever. It's fine. I just want to take the time to also just show my sister some love again. You're such a, a remarkable.